I painstakingly researched and narrowed down 679 cryptos into a list of my top 16 for today's episode of Let's Invest, the show for amateur focus investors. This episode was inspired by the idea that in a free marketplace, the best man will eventually win. So with that, why not look for the cryptocurrency with the best technology and place your bets there as a long-term hold for thousands of potential percent gain. You might look at the 679 cryptocurrencies listed on coinmarketcap.com and get majorly overwhelmed wondering which ones provide the best technology and long-term investment potential. That's how I felt anyway, until I actually started going through them, one by one, from Bitcoin all the way down until about the 200th coin on the list. I'd look at their websites, and if I was interested, I'd quickly scan over the white paper, their wiki, and then their forum. After getting through about the 200th coin, I started just looking for the ones with the most appealing and least scammy sounding names. I searched quite a long time, expecting to find undiscovered coins that have the technology potential to someday be bigger than Bitcoin. I was only looking for coins that have a primary function of being a currency, because that's just what I specialize in evaluating. If I saw it was a service first, cryptocurrency second, it automatically didn't make the list. With that said, I'll tell you my results and the names of the coins that sparked my interest in a minute. But first, these are the points I was looking for when evaluating each currency that I came across during my extremely tedious search. First point would be proof of stake or proof of importance within the wallet, or some mixture of proof of work and proof of stake. 100% proof of work coins were not preferred unless they were altered for better decentralization. By altered for better decentralization, I mean um, they could not be mined in large mining pools and they didn't favor ASIC mining. They were somehow had incentives to use your your GPU or your CPU on your computer to be more profitable than, than using ASIC minings or having an industrial sized mining operation like Bitcoin does. Thus it would provide basically a proof of stake type thing um, and further decentralize the network instead of centralize it like Bitcoin um, already is. Second, I've always liked the idea, um, yet I haven't really found a coin that implements it correctly uh, until I started going through this, uh, I started going through them one by one. A coin that has a limited blockchain storage for nodes, um, for nodes or wallet users, or like a light wallet, but master nodes, they stole the they would still store the full chain and get paid more to do so. So what I mean by this is that a full node would only store so much of like the past whatever blocks of transactions. That way they don't need to have terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of memory uh, upon um, mass adoption. That way a full node doesn't have to spend a ton of money to become a full node. Uh, but that's just kind of my idea. That, or by this I also could mean that the, the uh, website offers a light wallet, like NIM does with their nano wallet, where you don't have to store pretty much anything. Third, I wanted to have a, I wanted to see the coin was either working on or already had a messaging feature within their wallet, um, because I think this just helps the user experience a lot, and this is kind of taking from Venmo. I think a lot of people like the app Venmo, which is made by PayPal which is a centralized um, mobile payment application simply because you can message your friends on it as well. I uh, wanted the cryptocurrencies to have some form of community voting and government structure. It's pretty self-explanatory. I prefer them to have masternodes or supernodes as a second layer to the network because that allows for private transactions, that allows for super dedicated people to run supernodes and masternodes who are heavily incentivized to do it properly and get paid pretty well to do it for the network. It also allows for things like private send and whatever second layer, uh, second tier network functions you need, uh, or instant send even. Um, next down, it would be nice if it had 100% new code and wasn't a fork of Bitcoin, but this is kind of a lower um, priority. One of the big ones was it needs to have a treasury fund. Like, um, a lot of the coins that I invest in that I really like 
have a 10% or just some percentage of a treasury fund built straight into the code that goes towards developments and things like that. That way, I think that just helps scalability and long-term potential um, for just doing anything in the future. If you don't have a treasury fund, your coin is running on charity of the developers and um, investment incentive to grow the price per coin, which isn't as good as a treasury fund in my opinion. Moving on down, this isn't a super big point, but I'd like it to have a large coin supply or a small coin emission forever that doesn't it doesn't cause inflation problems in the future. Just a very low coin emission forever. That way you can have infinite numbers of master nodes and you never actually and people who lose their wallets, those coins that are out of the system forever or just get lost, um, don't impact don't build up over a long term and hurt the network. Uh, it needs to have a good name. This is kind of important, but also not super important. But uh, if your coin sounds like a scam, like uh, for example Litecoin, it just sounds kind of like a rip off of Bitcoin and it never got the full recognition that it deserved. So I'd like it to have a good name and you'll notice that a lot of the coins I have listed below uh, when I go through the ones I picked, very few of them had the name had the word coin in their name. A few of them do because they've got outstanding features that make up for that, but uh, but yeah, you get the point. A biggest, actually one of the biggest things is that it needs to have professional developers who actually talk on the forums, answer questions, and are incredibly involved and openly communicate a lot about their projects on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, if I couldn't find if, if, if it seemed like your coin had been dead for months, your forum was dead, and your developers hadn't produced anything for the past six months, I I might have included it still on my list of things that interest me for the technology, but you didn't make my final list. You'll see that I've got two lists down here. One of them's a bit long, and one of them's short. Um, it needs to have some sort of instant send or fast transactions that are faster than 30 seconds, but if you had really good features, a one minute block time would would cut it and you would make the list. Or um, it needed to have new technology that I hadn't heard of yet but seems interesting. This kind of ties into my second point about the limited blockchain storage for nodes. If it just had something really cool sounding um, but not too out there, I and it had also some of the other good features, I included on the list. Um, and finally, it just needs to have the, flat, the fast block time, low transaction fees, person-to-person -person transactions, all the good cryptocurrency stuff. Not every coin I picked had all of these features. In fact, most are missing a few. Actually, I was quite surprised to find so few coins that had enough of the above features to spark my interest. The coins that caught my attention, though, are as follows, in no particular order. NIM, PIVX, Dash, Decred, Byteball, Magi, Shift, Vcash, NXT, Veracoin, Bitsend, Heat, GCC Coin, Neos Coin, Quora, Cloak Coin, and Navcoin. Remember, these are just coins that are majorly focused on being a currency as their main function, not an app building blockchain or any other typical crypto service. I ran across a lot of good services too. Uh, in fact, I found more good services than good currencies. For example, Ethereum, Chronobank, Syscoin, and Library Credits, just to name a few. But they didn't make this list because this is a list for currencies only. After further examination, I narrowed the list down to these currencies listed in order from my favorite to my least favorite in terms of long-term investment potential. Number one, Dash. Number two, NIM. Number three, PIVX. Four, Byteball. Five, Decred. Six, NXT. The coins that I also am very interested in, but uh, don't quite trust yet, because I couldn't find enough information um, on them during further research, were Heat, Magi, Neos Coin, and GCC Coin. These all sounded really good on their websites at first glance uh, or on their white papers, 
but I couldn't find enough good information to actually recommend them um, on any level. So I will now quickly show why Dash, Nim, Pivx, Biteball, Decred, and NXT are my picks by highlighting the characteristics in red that each coin has from the list. Dash, Nim, Pivx, Biteball, Decred, and NXT. I eliminated the rest of the coins previously mentioned off the list, Shift, Vcash, Veracoin, Bitsend, Quora, Cloakcoin, and Navcoin because they're either lacking too many of the necessary features, the forums and developments have been dead for a long time, or upon further inspection they seemed to be scammy or worse than I initially thought. Um, I'd like to point out that throughout this search I didn't really believe in shit coins. I believed, yes, there were copies of coins that were quite um, similar to other coins, but I really did run, run across a lot of coins that were literally just Bitcoin rebranded with maybe a messaging feature thrown on top of it. There are a lot of crappy proof of work coins out there that have nothing to offer. As you can see, um, there aren't really any big surprises among my top six. I was expecting to make a, this video about finding potential digital gold mines during my search. I mean, I probably searched at least 50% of the 679 cryptos on the list. But I think that the main point of what I'm trying to say here is that I just ended up feeling that the market has already kind of chosen the winners for the most part. I originally wanted to make a point about how fast the crypto technology evolves and how the winners today could be crushed in an instant by some under the radar coin like Pivx used to be. I guess I can make a more comfortable prediction now that the coins we recognize today as the ones who have the best potential to overthrow Bitcoin in the future are probably here to stay. I'm talking about Dash and, and Pivx mostly unless we get blindsided by some super great technology or a massive investment in a nameless coin by some government or multi-billion dollar company. I think that Dash, Nim, and Pivx have a lot of staying power on account of their technology, governance, voting structure, treasury funds, massive scalability, quality appearance, fast transactions, professional cooperation with normal businesses, long-term development goals, strong communities, good marketing, and finally their highly effective development teams. I think maybe Bitcoin could make this list as well like for a long-term investment just because everyone knows about it already and everyone already uses it and that's about it. Also I think it's important to point out that there were a lot more I tried to research that I didn't even have a website or a forum to go to. Look, you click on the coin and there's just no website to go to. Um, and I just wasn't going to jack around with typing in every coin and whatever. Uh, hopefully you can understand that. Also, if I came across a site that looked like this, I left immediately without further examination. Because it doesn't matter how many features this coin might have uh, that are beneficial or new and awesome. If the developers think that this is a good way to present their coin, no investor is going to want anything to do with them. Yes, this is actually a crypto website from CoinMarketCap. The coin is called The Creed, if you want to go check it out. I won't go into any more details of each coin individually as to why I picked them in this video. Uh, I've already got plenty of in-depth videos about half of them. Dash, Nim, and Pivx that you can go watch on my channel. And I'll leave the other three, Biteball, NXT, and Decred, for further examination um, in videos to come. If, if I get interested, I might even examine Heat or GCC coin as well, because they have some pretty interesting technology, um, in my opinion, that is worthy of my further review. If you don't want to wait uh, for that though, 
then I highly recommend you go and check them out for yourselves. If you know of a coin that meets almost all the specifications that I listed previously, please let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with one of my choices, please tell me why in the comments also. I hope this video was helpful in your exploration of cryptocurrencies. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and let's invest.